We are just a few miles north of Murfreesboro and the Crater Diamond State Park along Highway 19 leading to Lake Greeson and Narrows Dam. Look at how high these rocks have been pushed. And these were all once flat-lying sedimentary rocks. You can tell here, uh, see the, the layer, the thickness? Those used to be flat-lying and now they're almost 80 degrees straight up. You know, 90 degrees would be straight up, but I mean, that's an 80 degree angle at least. So what made these once flat-lying rocks tip like that? Well, geologists say it was continental drift. In other words, two continents collided here, and with that great force, these rocks buckled and pushed up like this. And then the continents pulled back apart and it created a deep rift and a weak spot in the Earth's crust that went down more than 100 miles and that allowed the earthquake faulting and volcanic activity that brought diamonds to the surface. So seeing these rocks show what happened to the underlying rocks here and how this rift in the earth is a deep gouge. Uh, there's more rocks here but we can't see them right now because of this wisteria. A lot has covered it and, but that looks pretty cool too. <laughs> you know all the wisteria but it's a very high wall of rock created by continental drift and the importance of that is the weak spot it left in the earth that allowed the diamonds to come up later. So diamonds are created deep within the earth, about a hundred miles deep in the diamond stability zone under conditions of intense pressure and heat. And earthquake faulting allows a slippage in the earth, in the plates there, and uh, that allows the volcanic material to gush to the surface along that weak spot. And it was all created, set in motion by continental drift at first when the continents pushed together and pushed these rocks up and then pulled back and left that deep rift here. So just some interesting geology and if uh, you're at the Crater Diamond State Park you can drive to Murfreesboro and then follow Highway 19 up towards Narrows Dam and you'll see this right along the road.